I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about U substitution. In problem number 19, we'd like to use substitution to integrate uh, the integral of 2x squared divided by the square root of 1 minus 4x cubed dx. All right, so as in all substitution problems, we need to substitute for something, or we need to let u equal something. And what I'm often looking for are two things. I'm looking for something where if I took its derivative, the derivative actually shows up in the problem. And the second one is I'm usually looking for a function within a function. So here, the only function within a function I'm really seeing is 1 minus 4x cubed is square rooted. So this looks like a great candidate to be my u. So let's try it. So if I let u be equal to 1 minus 4x cubed, then let's take a look at what the derivative of u is, or du. Okay, so du would be equal to the derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of negative 4x cubed is negative 12x squared dx. All right, so we have our u, we have our du. Now I look over and I say, okay, u, that's sitting right here. du, well, that's minus 12x squared dx. And all I have here is a 2x squared dx. It's not quite right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to say, okay, what do I need right here in order to have what I want? I need that to be a minus 12. So why don't we just multiply this by what we need it, uh, what we need to multiply by to make this a minus 12, and then we'll deal with that multiplication on the outside of the integral. So let me show you what I mean. So I could rewrite this integral the following way. This is the integral of, to get a negative 12 up here, I need to multiply by a minus 6. So then I've got times 2x squared. So notice that minus 6 times 2 is going to give me my minus 12. And on the bottom, I have square root of 1 minus 4x cubed dx. Now, I multiplied on top by negative 6, which is only legal if I multiply on the outside by negative 1 6. So notice at this point I haven't changed anything at all. I have a minus 6 on top and I have a negative 1 6 on the outside. So I've got, uh, I've only multiplied this thing by 1. So everything's fine. But notice that now I could rewrite this thing. Let's move right up here. This is equal to negative 1 6 times the integral of, on top now I have negative 12x squared over the square root of 1 minus 4x cubed dx. And this is perfect because now my u is sitting right here and negative 12x squared dx, my du, is sitting on top. So now I can rewrite this thing as I have a negative 1 6. Okay, remember this guy, 1 minus 4x cubed, 1 minus 4x cubed, that's going to become u. Negative 12x squared dx, negative 12x squared dx, that's all going to become du. So if I rewrite this, this is the integral of, on top, all of that stuff, just becomes du. So this stuff all turns into du. And on bottom, I have the square root of u. So this is my new integral. Okay? But this is relatively simple to deal with. This is the same as negative 1 sixth integral of u to the negative one-half du. 
right? Which I can take an antiderivative of. I get minus one sixth. Uh, the antiderivative of u to the negative one half would be u to the one half divided by one half, but divided by one half is the same as multiplying it by two plus c. All right, let's rewrite this. We're almost done. I've taken the antiderivative. The only thing that's left to do is I need to rewrite this u as x's. <coughs> so I need to remember that u is equal to 1 minus 4x cubed. Okay, so let's rewrite. Uh, by the way, negative 1 6 times 2 is negative 1 third. Uh, and then u, uh, by the way, u to the 1 half is the same as square root of u, but u is 1 minus 4x cubed plus c. And we have our answer.